good job. It's your boy Ross back here again with another video. So we're going to check out WWE Top 20 Shocking Reality Era Returns. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't even know Reality Era was a thing. Did y'all know that was a thing? I just always assumed it was the Ruthless Aggression, the Attitude Era, the PG Era, and everything else was just pretty much PG Era because it's all PG. But I didn't know the reality era was a thing. So comment down below and let me know if that really is a, a coin phrase. Because I did not know this. But you guys have been loving this series. You guys have been showing this series so much likes and support in the comment section. And, and we're going down memory lane, nostalgia lane. So thank you guys. I'm going to continue this series. As long as he has it out, I'm going to continue, continue it for you guys. Um, and try to drop it as soon as I possibly can. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Let's get right into this video, man. Dig it, dig it, sucker, sucker. You know the moves. You know what I'm here for. You know I gotta hit it every time. Now Raw was Jericho. Oh boy! The big dog. Superstar of the year. Here comes Roman Reigns. He was, he was okay then. But at the same time, this was the the Roman Reigns with the shield type gimmick. You know what I'm saying? He had some fans. It wasn't until he start they really started pushing him down. You know, like pushing him to the point where it's like, yo, we know y'all want him to be the next guy. We're not really rocking with it. And his promos were a lot of time cringe. What worked for him in the shield is he didn't say much. You hear this? Kevin. Vince was loving this. And then they just kept pushing him to the point where it was like, yo, hey, just let us organically like the guy. Owens against Machine Gun Kelly earlier. The pressure is on. Yeah. Oh my God. That's not pressure. Bro, Seth Rollins definitely looked like a bitch <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Brock Lesnar is back and he has his sights set. On Monday Night Raw, the Wyatt family beat us. You guys didn't get the job done. Shall not mess with the Dudley Boys. Go. Oh, man. It's easy to be bad. Nostalgia at his finest. You got your family. Ha. Oh, and we got ours. No, 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 no. You think it is? <laughs> what? An all time friend. This is awesome. W. <laughs> Welcome to Hardcore, boys. Yeah, look at boys just get whooped with kendo sticks. sticks. That's. This is a Braun Strowman before he really had his his moment. <laughs> Do you look stupid, Chet? Seamus pro kicking Brian and now pro kicking. <laughs> oh, I'm back. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. Uh oh. What? JBL. <laughs> John, 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 John. You have the audacity to come out here in front of these legends that changed the business. I had a feeling this might happen. So I happen to make a little phone call. Ah. Oh, <laughs> the APA, man. Love it. What? Oh. It is. Oh, my God. <laughs> you can't believe you don't tell a rotator. There we go. Close Bro, that, that clothesline is just. I will give JBL this. His clotheslines were just nasty. Oh, my. The imp. I would never. You couldn't pay me no money to take a clothesline from JBL. 
deserve to be here, and I have. Pre- I'm so glad they got rid of the Divas belt. That belt looked like a goddamn toy. Oh, I'm glad they got rid of that belt. Prove it. With it. AJ Lee. Defend my championship tonight. AJ's the champion. Mm -hmm. What a return for AJ Lee. Turn about Faye Lee is a two time Divas champion. I'm so glad they got rid of that that terminology. Dullyville, yeah. Love it. This is one of the great things about the Royal Rumble. You get some great surprise return it, returns to bring you back to your childhood. Are you kidding me? That guy losing his losing it with the red hair. Oh my god! The light up jacket! <laughs> And it's cool. Chris Jericho has really been the unsung hero for the Attitude Era. Anytime he comes back to wrestling, he always gets a lot of love. And he's had some very great feuds. Even when he went to AEW, he was their their guy. You know, he still is their guy. You know what I'm saying? And the fans love him, man. And it's Jericho deserves his flowers, bro. Jericho deserves his flowers. A lot of people didn't want to put him in the category, in the tier of Stone Cold's and the Rocks and the Triple H, but uh, Triple H's of the world. But I think he deserves to be in that spot. Comment down below. And let me know if you guys feel like he deserves to be on Mount Rushmore of wrestlers, because I think he does. His work proves it, and he's still doing it, and people still enjoy watching his stuff, watching his wrestling. <laughs> This is when Raw was watchable when you had the authority storyline. This was really good. This was really good. I enjoyed when they had the storyline going on because in the Daniel Bryan storyline in between, you know, intertwining with it too as well. They had something that was watchable on a three hour show. They should have let Sting win this match. I will always say you could have gave Sting this match, bro. WCW is long gone. You could have gave Sting this match. At least if you only had one match at WrestleMania, he at least would have won that one match. And Xavier Woods have come out here to help Kofi Kingston. Oh, Roman Reigns is there. This young man from Kusango, Kofi. Oh, oh man. Kingston to Mr. Money in the Bank. What the? Oh, my God. It's Wyatt. What? It's Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt under going after Roman Reigns. Yep. Sister Abigail. That is just a contract. And Bray. And this is what, oh man, they just, I wish they just would have booked him so correctly. Oh my God, bro. Instead of trying to force Roman as the guy, he should have been doing stuff like this and pushing him to the moon. Roman was going to get there. You just had to let him, well, you needed to turn him heel. But, just, oh man. The WWE World Heavyweight Title. He just caught his pack, countered it, and oh! <laughs> Michael Cole on commentary is killing me right now. Love it. 
Everybody get a choke slam. You hear the booze. How about the fact that Oh my god for the ninth time in the fact that they had to have Triple H come out there and do this. This was just Roman Young in his road career. I just really, really, really wish they pulled the trigger a lot sooner. But hey, I am thankful for what we got now. Yep. Oh my gosh. WWE and this was great because at this point, I'm thinking, yo, they could pull the ultimate story. Of course, they gave it to Triple H. I'm getting goosebumps from him. Dean Ambrose was super hot right here. He was he was mega over. And I was like, bro, if they pull the ultimate sword and give it to Dean Ambrose here, oh, the story. You could tell what this would be amazing, bro. Heavyweight Ambrose eliminated. Triple H is a 14 Let's see if we can find out who's in the limo. <laughs> the people right, share. Do me a favor and park the rock's truck. <laughs> we are live, Miami. I'm coming to you, Miami. Yes, you can feel it. You can feel that energy. Miami, are you ready? Bro. Bro, I'm getting goosebumps. Just, oh, man. The Rock, you can never go wrong. He gives the energy. No matter any, how many, doesn't matter when he comes, he's going to give you the energy. The people's champ, bro. This statue will stand when I am long retired. Are you ready? Yep. What the hell? Oh my god, it's Sting! And Sting with a right hand to Rollins! Here comes the true immortal! Sting ruined it! And there goes Rollins! That is my note! Well, let me tell you something, brother! <laughs> right here in the Silver Dome. The Silver Dome. I can't believe I'm the. I'm sorry, it is the Super Dome, brother. Love it. WrestleMania 30, one of my favorite WrestleManias. Give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. WrestleMania 4. WrestleMania 5. Whoa! Yes. Yep. Oh my god! <laughs> Yep. Introduce you to your opponent, Alberto Del Rio. The, the Del Rio. Yep, when they first returned. We may need a table. And Xavier. Oh yeah. So many good memories. Diva. Oh my god, y'all hear that crowd response. Oh. I think this is when Shane comes out. What to say. I mean, when he returns. I yep. I watched this live. I lost my shit. Because no one really thought Shane would ever come back to wrestling. They they thought he was just done with the company. Like you'll be doing making his money in other ventures, maybe behind the scenes, but you didn't see him on television for so long. And to see him back was great, bro. This was awesome. 
Oh my god, bro. Look at that reception. Holy shit was right. I was chanting holy shit at home because I was like, oh, what the f What? Shane's back? I'm getting goosebumps now. I don't get too many goosebumps unless it's a clip that just, it literally shook me to my core and I will always remember that feeling. This was awesome just to see him back. Uh -uh. Thank you so much for that. I love it, man. Yeah, what's up, Detroit? It's all getting done right here tonight. Ah, oh, man. Hey, I didn't know reality error was a thing, so let me know if that if that is a actual terminology wrestling fans use. But for me. The number one clip was my favorite clip just because I remember watching it live and seeing Shane McMahon come out there was amazing. It was dope. It brought back feels and they were eventually they ended up setting a few with him and the Undertaker that I enjoyed. The match was cool. It was a hell in a cell match. You knew Shane was going to, you know, be thrown off of something very high. The only thing that was that confused me about that feud, we never really found out I think there was like a, a box of secrets or some shit. We never really found out what was in that box. They never really like finished that storyline. It kind of just ended. So we never really do. I think it was like a box. Something. Something that it was a secret that the Undertaker knew. And if he won the match, the secret was to be released or some shit. I don't fucking know. It was something along that line. It's like a some secret so we never really got the conclusion to that storyline in the sense of what was the secret what's in the box you know what i'm saying not trying to make a reference here pop culture ref pop culture ref reference but you know but yeah this video is dope comment down below let me know what was your favorite return from the reality era didn't know that was a thing still appreciate all of the support road to 60k appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace